Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a very awesome tutorial using After Effects, 3ds Max, Buju, and even Rayfire. So for now we'll just start a new composition. I'm going to name this Awesome because this will be an awesome video. Mark my word. Go to Import and we're just going to import the video file that I want. Now, the first thing we want to do, actually, is right-click your video and go to Interpret Footage and click Main. Now, the frame rate, we want to keep the frame rate, you know, actually at 24, and we're going to use this exact number for importing and exporting through After Effects, Buju, and 3ds Max. So just click OK and import into Awesome. So we just have a very basic uh, video of me just filming outside my house, nothing special, but don't worry, there will be, it'll be awesome. So everything looks A-OK, -okay. so go to Composition, Add to Render Cube. For Render Settings, you want to go to Best Settings, and make sure the frame rate is at 24. Everything looks A-OK. -okay. Now for output model, you want to go to lossless. And for Buju, to recognize a video format, we actually want to switch it to a some type of sequence. So for now, we'll just switch to JPEG sequence. Go to format options. And I actually set mine to 10, because 10 is an awesome number. It's two digit. And get this. It's an even number, so that's even cooler. And then uh, everything looks cool. Hit OK. Output. I right, have it saved right there. And then just click Render. So when you open up to Buju, Buju is a pretty sweet program. It can you can import uh, for videos for After Effects and uh, turn them into 3D. You know trackers and uh, you can actually use it for 3ds max as well as after effects for creating no objects it's a pretty basic program nothing uh, too fancy I mean nothing like after effects so for now we want to go to import sequence and we're gonna go to the destination in which we save our file so in this case mine would be Jesse Wilderner that's my name yeah who would have thought Go to my documents and my videos. And as you can see, it's saved in a sequence, image sequence. So you just want to click on the first image right there. Hit OK. Make sure it's at 24. Everything looks A OK. Now, if you skip through the timeline, uh, everything looks still in place. You can see a car right there. And uh, everything looks really nice. So, what you want to do is actually hit track features. Hit all frames and click start. So what Buju is doing now is it's actually tracking the whole entire film sequence. You can see that it recognizes what it's filming by looking at these little red plus signs and if you have a lot of those that means you're doing good. You're doing really good. And if you see these little yellow scraggly lines, that just means it's showing the movement of the plus sides. Now, if you say if you're uh, you film something, something you know easy and simple, and you're hoping Buju will track all of it, and it's tracking, it's tracking, and then all of a sudden nothing appears and Buju doesn't track the whole entire sequence of your video. Well, what you can do actually is you that just means you need to add some tracker points and what I mean by that is see what I did is I just added through a couple sticks out on the ground and that actually just helps Buju to understand you know what it's tracking and it gives it more to track so basically all you need to do is just 
add some small, you know, detail, add some small stuff like sticks, maybe some leaves. If you're outside, you can uh, throw it out there, and uh, that just makes it easier for Buju to track. If you're inside the house, what you could do is probably just simply use maybe a pencil, a penny, a dime, maybe even a quarter. Yeah, a quarter could work. Those are, uh, those are pretty good. And uh, so far, the sequence is actually doing really good. It's uh, tracking everything, which is pretty sweet. I actually, this is actually my second video. Uh, the first video I filmed, I just wanted to do something a lot simpler. So I just filmed uh, my neighbor's house blowing up with a huge explosion. I actually just went over to his house and uh, put a bomb under there and uh, blew up his house and I wanted to track all that so I recorded that and uh, everything was going good until you know the cops showed up and then you know I had to explain everything that I was only doing it for Buju and uh, a video for my class but you know he didn't understand what a jerk so everything looks a-okay um, looks pretty awesome Here's a little tip. Say if um, you want a specific pointer to be tracked in camera solve, you want to right click it and hit gold. And what that does is it marks that particular point in the film and it records all of its movement so it's in there for good. It's in there for sure. And you can do that also. Or if you want to Besides doing track features, you could do add target tracks, which that is just more like creating specific parts for your video, like uh, tracker points. But we use track features instead. So now what you want to do is hit camera solve. Make sure it's set to all frames and optimize camera path smoothness. That, that just kind of helps the video. And so now what Buju is doing is it's working its magic. It's turning all these little dots here into... Not dots. It's turning all these little plus signs into dots. You'll see, as I predict, it will turn into blue and yellow dots. And uh, then the video will be ready for 3D and it will be turning out pretty awesome. So... Just wait till Buju does its little magic. Um, everything's going pretty good. Now, it may depend on the video uh, timeline. Sometimes when you hit camera solve, things can go really fast, and the camera solve will be, boom, done in like five seconds. Whereas the longer your video, obviously, the longer it takes. So, right now it's only taking maybe, I'd say, uh, I don't know, a minute or two at the most. So, it's going pretty good. Use some nice grass there. But yeah, uh, I, I actually recommend not filming a neighbor's house blowing up. I'd use my you know, something much, much more simpler, and just, you know, film the road, or perhaps a, uh, grass, or maybe even a car. So if you open up this, you can see, as I predicted, tons of dots. Now, the more dots you have, the better the video is. If you screw up through here, everything looks A-OK. -okay. It even sticks to the car, some in the back. So that looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice. Wow. So now, if you go over to the 3D tab up here, you can see a 3D view of our world, our video sequence. And if you hold down shift, you can just kind of scrub through, see everything, and uh, everything looks pretty good. But we're going to switch that around, and uh, we're going to use some geometry math for our part two of our tutorial. So, stay tuned for part two of our tutorial. Things will be getting pretty awesome and better. And, uh, yeah, it will be pretty exciting. So, till next time, stay tuned.